black. Even though they're fundamentally against aborting black babies, they still are fundamentally against blacks. Because, you, you know, if you want to chop a baby up, a black baby, that's loving and liberal. If you're against it, it's because you're racist. Let's go ahead and go to the race pimp, the race hustler, Potok. Uh, there's polling that shows that both implicit and explicit anti-black attitudes uh, among American whites have gone up quite significantly between 20, uh, uh, 2008 and 2012. Uh, to the point where now more than half of white Americans have these uh, anti-black attitudes. Half of white so Americans have... I think that's have... the real evidence. All right, Raihan, half of white Americans have anti-black attitudes? All right, I think that's uh, extremely well, you heard it. I mean, are you white? Did you wake up this morning? You're racist. And I know the polls he's talking about, they're in Gallup and others. No, you had a majority of whites that voted to elect Barack Obama. And then everything turned into race baiting, and everybody got told how racist they were. And even liberal, bleeding heart self-loathing white people are now getting mad and getting sick of being called names, getting sick of being made fun of in the media, getting sick of being attacked because we're white. And, and people act like white people can't even turn on a light switch. People act like white people are like the dumbest scum of the earth and beat them up, shoot them, attack them. Aha, you're white. White people are under attack in this country because the majority is the minorities. You put the minorities together in this country now, they're the majority. And then the majority of women, no matter what color they are, vote for gun control, open borders, total socialism, drones, enslavement. And that's why they think they've won, folks. And now they're going to make it all about race politics. And Homeland Security is for gun owners. Homeland Security is for returning veterans. Homeland Security is for the Tea Party, which they've branded as white, hoping, quote, minorities don't get involved in it and feel welcome in it. Because we can all be unified around a culture of liberty and get past what color we are. That's what scares the system, is real, liberal, Thomas Jeffersonian type ideas. Dave in Michigan, you're on the air. Welcome. Alex, Barack, who's not sane, will bomb us. Barack. I think he's pretty sane, though. I mean, you know, he's helping bring down the country for the globalists, doing a great job. I say Barack, who's insane, will bomb us, and I think he's going to use one of those nukes that he stole and detonated the one off of the coast of the Carolinas. Um, but I, I called yesterday, and I really thought I, I'd like to get my info back out um, because we were in overdrive, and that doesn't get replayed. Oh, well, listen, listen, here's the deal. I got, a, I got one pet peeve with callers. Everybody calls and does a call screening with me on air. They say, I want to talk about this. Is that okay? Listen, brother, you're on air right now. Go ahead and make a point. <laughs> I'd like to address Kevin again. Um, I think Kevin lost faith, faith in himself. Uh, he's been listening for 17. I've been listening for 15. My brother, Gordy, uh, introduced me to you in 99. Um, I know but, Gordy. Uh, he used to live down in Austin. He moved back up there, didn't he? Yes, he still lives in Austin. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, Kevin lost faith in himself because he hasn't done anything with the information that you put out. I believe your role is a messenger. And you are putting out that info war, and you are turning hearts and minds, and you are doing an awesome job. I, I'd like to tell you what I'm doing to resist. I'm, I'm using your sponsors. By the way, we've been making our own silver for, for probably six years from uh, uh, silverlungs.com, and uh, we learned about them from you. And I haven't been sick, or my family hasn't been sick since we've been making our own silver. We've yeah, no, I've been doing the silver lungs uh, myself. But before you go see that eye, ears, nose, and throat guy that you got, my brother-in-law uh, saw a good one when he had a sore throat, and he ended up having tonsil cancer. He let them take his tonsils. They poured radiation down his throat. A year later, when he said he was healed, he uh, went back for a checkout, and guess what? He had a growth on his thyroid, which was inconclusive when they checked it for cancer, but he still let him take the growth off of his thyroid. So, you know, people are, uh, and then back to the vaccine. My daughter, thanks to your info, okay, my daughter had my first grandson. He's a year old. He hasn't been vaccinated because of your info. He's never been sick a day in his life. He's been around, you know, uh, at parties, at bowling alleys with sick people all around him, picking him up, playing with his toys, touching him. He didn't, he didn't, he hasn't even had a cold yet, Alex, because he hasn't been vaccinated. All his cousins, 
Oh, I know. My children are so healthy compared to other children because they haven't been vaccinated. Uh, it's just incredible. You read the vaccine inserts, it says it doesn't even protect you. Good to hear from you. Rob, you're up next. That's the sound of your door being kicked in by an intruder with a single kick. Criminals know that your doors are weak and your alarm system can't keep them out. That's the sound of the same door, now protected by the Door Sentinel. Standard locks, deadbolts, and alarm systems can't prevent forced entry. Harden your door and door jam with the Door Sentinel. Go to MySafeDoor.com. That's MySafeDoor.com and enter coupon code SAFE for 15% off of your order. The Door Sentinel, your home's first line of defense. My name is Jessica Armand. I'm an activist, a GCN listener, and mother of three. Our drinking water and food are filled with fluoride and other contaminants that harm our teeth and gums. To protect my family, I created My Magic Mud, an all-natural teeth whitening and strengthening remedy. My Magic Mud is a soft powder that polishes your teeth, reduces sensitivity, and removes harmful toxins from deep inside your mouth. You deserve a bright, healthy smile. Visit MyMagicMud.com and get yours today. That's MyMagicMud.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Hi, my name is Lad Mandiola. I've been a loyal listener to this network for a while, and I want to apologize if what I'm about to say comes across as a sales pitch. A few years ago, I came across an incredible knife and made it even better that uses the patented Emerson waved feature. We call it the 599 Fox Karambit knife. Now, I'm not looking for you to buy anything. All I'm asking you to do is go onto our site at theultimateknife.com and click on our rotating banner that says free training videos. I'm so confident that you'll love those videos and love this knife that I'm giving a seven day trial guarantee and you'll see why this is one of the fastest one-handed deployable defense knives on the market. And if you're as concerned as I am about legislation that's pushing to try to take our rights to bear arms, then you need to watch these free training videos. Also, as a listener, we're also giving away free shipping. Just type in radio at checkout. Again, go onto our site at www.theultimateknife.com. Again, that's theultimateknife.com. Thank you for listening. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. <laughs> has officially come out on their own website. They have links to it on Infowars.com and said they're going to take money out of your bank account, your paycheck, you name it, with penalties and interest if you don't get Obamacare or pay the $5,000 fine. Harry Reid's uh, response in the Weekly Standard has the report. In fact, will you guys grab this video? It's pretty powerful. Oh, we have the video? Great, we'll play. Yes, yes. 
Uh, Harry Reid denies all Obamacare horror stories and says all are untrue. Just like there were no death panels, just like you could keep your doctor, just like Obama swore he wouldn't come after any of your guns, not your handgun, not your shotgun, not your rifle, just like he wasn't going to sign the NDAA. Turns out he wrote it and did sign it. It is an act of total betrayal, hoping that the public doesn't pay attention to what they're doing. Here he is, Harry Reid. Despite all that good news, there's plenty of horror stories being told. All of them are untrue. Oh. They're being told all over America. The leukemia patient whose insurance policy was canceled would die without her medication. Mr. President, that's an ad being paid for by two billionaire brothers. It's absolutely false. Or the woman whose insurance policy went up $700 a month. Huh. Ads paid for around America by the multi-billionaire Koch brothers. And the ad Hold on a minute. Bad. Back this up to the beginning. Back it up to the beginning, please. Ladies and gentlemen, my dad, in the last six months since Obamacare went in, every two months he gets a letter, he, I've shown him on air, where his insurance goes up 35%. So it's now gone up over 100% in six months. He's gotten three letters, 35, 35, 35. Do the math. That's over 100% increase. And it is totally outrageous. My insurance through GCN, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Minnesota, gone way up. I mean, I can show you the stub. Everybody out there knows it's going up. We showed you the uh, letters from Humana in Texas where it's gone up 500 plus percent. It's not debated that it's going up. It's not debated. But he just gets up there and says the horror stories are all frauds and the Koch brothers that funded Bill Clinton, I should add, they're running ads against it. What? The well, Walmart's for Obamacare. I always love the mythical Koch brothers and all they supposedly run when they just hedge their bets and buy both parties. It makes me want to throw up. I just can't handle it anymore. Michigan Democrat Rep Gary Peters threatens TV station license over Obamacare ad where the woman simply talks about how she lost her, her doctor she liked. Remember, first Obama said he never said you could keep your doctor. Then he had, okay, I did say that. I mean, these people just tell such whopping lies. Let's go back to Harry Reid. Here it is. Despite all that good news, there's plenty of horror stories being told. All of them are untrue. Oh. They're being told all over America. That's enough. The leukemia patient whose insurance... Well, he sure, he sure paused there, didn't he? When he told that whopper, 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 whopper. And, and, you know, when you go into court and things, it's all about how you act calm and nice and that you're dressed nice. That's who the jury will go with, not the facts in modern America. What about the facts? Well, it's just Harry's the nice little old man, and he says there are no horror stories. Folks, we told you it was a foreign tax. The Supreme Court ruled that. We told you the IRS was going to enforce it. It was in the bill. It's law. Obama said they wouldn't do it. It's in the news today. The shared responsibility tax with penalties and interest implemented by the IRS. You know, if you don't pay that 5000 in a year, it'll be like 15000 And folks, nobody, and, and, and hey, when all this happens, they're just going to say, oh, well, that's a minority of people or... Oh, they're just Tea Party people, or oh, no, this isn't happening to anyone. This is on, we're on the IRS website right now. If you're a TV viewer, questions and answers on the individual shared responsibility provision. This is IRS.gov. Okay, the provision applies to individuals of all ages, including children, the adult or married couple who can claim a child or another individual as dependent for federal income tax purposes is responsible for making for the payment if the dependent does not have coverage or an exemption. When does the individual shared responsibility provision go into effect? 2014. They go on to say you will be taxed in 2015 by the IRS if, it's, if you don't get the insurance and list it on your form. See, they're going to be the new police of everything. That's irs.gov, Harry Reid. Is that a horror story?
Is that real? You bet it is, you little lion, gangster thug, scumbag. We're on.